Hi, my name is Silent Dad. This video will contain solutions for the exercises in the C programming language book by Kernighan and Ritchie. Exercise 1-13. Write a program to print a histogram of the length of words in its input. It is easy to draw the histogram with the words horizontal. A vertical orientation is more challenging. So here we are going to use the program that we created for exercise 1-12 where we print the input one word per line so I'll just copy that program and then we're going to modify it to suit the requirements of exercise 1-13 so let's copy first This is our exercise on the stripes, so I'm just going to copy this program. So this is, is the, the copy version of the exercise on the stripes. So in this case, since we're after the length of the words, we need to find a way to store the length of words in an array. And then we go over the array and print the a histogram on the length. So let's call this lens. So let us create an array of 100 uh, elements. And this will store the lens of the 100 words. So why 100? So what what we will do is first print the first the first 100 if we reach if we fill up this array if we have the first 100 words we can print the histogram for the first 100 words and then reinitialize it again to zero and then do it again for the second 100 words and then we'll do it again for the remaining words so let's initialize first so let's initialize the the lens to zero okay not now that we have initialized so we're going to change this instead of uh, putting a character. We're putting a new line. We save the line. Then we go to the next element in the array. And then initialize again then to zero so, need a variable for the length of the word This time, instead of printing the character, we increment the length. Then we test if we reach the 100 word. 
di print di Instagram print di Instagram dan after printing di Instagram we initialize di I to zero so that na no, no we don't initialize we first reinitialize the length to zero and then reinitialize the I to zero also then we do it so for the excess for the remaining then we again print the histogram that's basically is the logic but the question here is do we really need to save the lens of the word oh, we're, so we're printing first the we're doing first the horizontal version first the horizontal version not the vertical so as far as the horizontal histogram histogram version is concerned as far as printing a horizontal histogram with the lens of the words so you really need to save the lens so it turns out so rem remember the remember the output of I uh, of our of SSS one dash word where we print the word per line where we print the word per line if our word looks like this so it looks like we're printing the histogram so if we change if every character to this to a histogram bar so you see it's as if we are printing the histogram of the length of the word so we don't really need to we don't really need to save the lens all we need to do is to change only the character that we print instead of the every letter of the word we change every letter to a histogram char a character that looks like a histogram in this case the equal sign or we can use the dash sign so let's try to mod let's try to use that logic instead of using this logic Let's get first exercise one dash twelve. This exercise one dash twelve again. Let's copy it again. this but this kind of this uh, this logic we're going to use this kind of logic when we print the vertical when we create the vertical version the vertical orientation of the histogram so for the horizontal variation this will suffice so here instead of printing the character we print this So effectively, which effectively printing the length of every word in its input. So let's try this. So let's compile. Okay. So the 
big brown box. Shall we have a Instagram? So this is the histo uh, horizontal orientation of the histogram of the lens of the words in the input so we can create we can use this uh, we can create a histogram of the source the source code for the exercise on the stem so instead of uh, the input coming from the keyboard the input will come from the file itself let's create the histogram for the for the its for its own file this is the histogram for the ex, for the source code for exercise on the stepping so that will be all for now the and the vertical orientation will be for the next video so that will be all for now and i hope you learned something